What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and before we get started right here I want to let you know I bought this card because in one of the previous games that I played he was completely dominant He did whatever he wanted to do to me. It was so wild. So I'm like yo, maybe this AP is raw So uh, I tried him out. I'm gonna let you guys know right now if you have this card sell him right now Don't, don't look stop the video turn on your Xbox your PS4 whatever you're on and sell this bum right now that dude I hate him um I don't want to go further into what I did to him in the locker room after the game. Uh, if you guys watch my past videos, you know how I treat my players on my team. Um, in my ultimate team locker room, a lot of bad things happen. Um, I put snakes in my players' lockers. Um, uh, HIV viruses all over the locker room benches. So when they sit down, it goes in, you know, seeps in through their butt cheeks. Um, I've done crazy things to my players. So if you don't see guys on my team from time to time, um, that's probably um, why they're not there. Uh, so yeah, this that AP card, please, please. But yo, look right here. Um, we, we're going up against the GOAT, Tom Brady. Um, this guy right here, I, I gotta get, you, you know what? I gotta give this guy a lot of credit. I give him a lot of credit because this guy has the penis that, that like has to be made of steel. Like the dude really is gonna stay through a 50 burger that's vicious. Now, let's just keep it real. At some point, everyone had to have been blown out in Madden 17. And no matter how good you are, because the game is like, you can't really determine who's gonna win every game, no matter how good the player is. It doesn't really matter. If you're one of those guys like, yeah, bro, I'm raw, you've lost too, and you probably lost to an infant. You know what I'm saying? So let's just keep it real. That's why I don't really go hard about, oh, yeah, bro, I'm raw. I don't care about that. This game, in my opinion, like I said before, um, you know, Gaming Powerhouse and I have, have discussed it as far as the, um, the skill gap. Now, I believe that there's a skill gap, but it's very, very minimal. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what anybody thinks, it has to be something that keeps the top players up there. So I give them that. But overall, the things that go on in the game, um, it's it's unacceptable at best, all right? So if you know that a C route works against a certain route, you know that cover one works against a certain route, you know that blitz in a guy for a certain edge work, those are the things that these skill players or these top-ranked tournament players know. So they they can look at a formation and know what's going on. That doesn't mean that it's like an overwhelming, overwhelming skill gap because once you look at them play, you can figure it out. That's why most people go to tournaments and get popped. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get popped because it's a very, very easy game to decipher. They pretty much, they show you the play after every play. Like, yo, get swerved, bro. Hashtag TSG. Hashtag TSG, bro. Uh, in the comment section. Do it right now, dog. Yo, you know how my people do it. Um, So, it, it has nothing to do with, and oh, pit there. Oh, yeah. It has nothing to do with anything else other than the fact that you have to admit to yourself that Madden has taken a turn to make it a little bit more user friendly, uh, not not user like a, a stick, like you know, bum friendly. I don't like to call look novice. Maybe maybe let, maybe if we call it novice friendly, people will feel better about themselves. Oh, that was a nice strip animation. But yeah, kick the ball around. Yeah, play soccer. I can't believe I picked that up and ran it for six. I was very amazed. That right there, that made my day because ball physics usually they would kick the ball to an imaginary net and you just start playing FIFA in this game. Like this, uh, it doesn't matter who plays the game. And like I said. I respect an individual that can, even if, you know what I'm saying, like, a lot of these tournament players, they're making good money. I don't even know if um, Dot W has been paid yet, you know, for his 72000 you know, You know, he was fined three grand, but he won that tournament so long ago. I don't know if he's been paid yet, but people make good money off of playing the game. So I understand why you want to hold in um, your comments about it and things like that while it's going on. But you have to understand something. It's just like people always say, women li live longer than men because women release their emotions more. You know what I'm saying? Like, a man, oh, impressive performance, good stuff. A man will, you know, just hold it in his whole life, bruh, and wonder why he dies at like freaking 40. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be able to release how you're feeling. And that's the secret to women living longer. But look, the counterpart to that also is this. If you lie about something that's so overwhelmingly false, like anybody that plays the game know that they, they you know it you just know a pick there you know that this game has a lot of issues when you outright just lie and just you know maybe you think you're telling the truth because i don't know we, we all don't know what's going to happen when we're not here anymore but you got to answer for it bro at some point you're gonna have to answer for running around saying that this is the best game ever at some point you're gonna have to because everything has to be you're gonna have to be able to thoroughly explain whether you're explaining it to the devil or you're explaining it to the Lord, doesn't matter. You're gonna have to explain why would you say that Madden 17 was a good game? You, it just doesn't make any sense. The things that go on in this game, and like I said, 
regardless of even if you work for EA Sports, even if you're a developer, you got to look at some of the gameplays and the things that are going on on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, all these things that you got to say to yourself, we put this game out. You got to look at yourself. It's, what was that? He caught that? Yeah, look, anyway, like, like I said, let me get back to my train of thought because see, things like that make my brain start doing other things and I want to say things and do things that, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, why is this even happening? But you have to objectively look at everything because if it wasn't really that bad, I will let you, I'm going to let you know if it's not that bad, right? I don't care if you value my opinion or if you don't. I try to be as rational as possible with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I wouldn't want somebody... He caught that? All right. I wouldn't want somebody to not take into consideration my thought process. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if I put something out and it was total garbage and cat piss, I would want somebody to explain to me why. And I've made it abundantly clear that there are so many things that can be done to make the game better, but I don't know if it's ever going to happen. And yeah, everybody is going to have their, you know, their opinions and whatever like that. But how do you back it up, though? How do you back it up? That, that's the biggest thing about it. I can back up what I'm saying about the game. I have all these videos out about the game. I can back it up. When you say the game is good, is the game, only, is the game good only because you're winning? Because, I, you know, if that's the case, you could tell me that, uh, you know, Steven Seagal movies are good. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're Steven Seagal, you're going to think your movies are good. I know they're garbage. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, look, it is what it is, man. I, I can't really justify anymore what goes on in the game. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I don't need, look, I'm not going to sit up here and be like, oh, bro, this guy is garbage. I haven't called, you know, like I said, I'm garbage. I call, I've been calling myself garbage since, like, Madden 16 because I lost self-respect for myself because I played the game. Madden 16 and Madden 17. So when, when when I blow somebody out and I flood them, I don't care. It's just for the fun of the game, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. When I'm getting blown out, it's the same thing. I, I can't, it doesn't matter to me, bro. You understand? What, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm not going to come on this video like, yo, bro, whatever. I'm going to make fun of it. Yeah, bro, the dude got flooded, whatever. But we both know that this could have easily been me, bro. We both, hey, we both know. And when I say both, I'm only using, you know, one-on-one -on -one for each one of my viewers, bro. Because it's not about, you know what I'm saying? I want to have that individual situation where you can be like, yo, look, he's talking to me. We both know this game could have been the complete opposite at the drop of a hat. So we got to give Stax credit, bro. This dude Stax, he probably a serial killer, bro. Like, if you could sit through this, it takes a lot. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, when you get flooded like this and you can't swim... Like this, it was, oh, what the, yo, he just kept coming out. He kept coming at me. It, it, it was good stuff, bro. It was good stuff. I, ha I have to give this guy a lot of credit, brother, for taking his 50 burger on his face. I got to give him a lot of credit, man. But at the end of the day, man, it's TSG for life, dog. Like, if you don't got TSG in your, on, on the top of your team name yet, and you ain't been practicing the swerve, what you doing, bro? What you really doing? If you haven't been really out there just, like, outright practicing the swerve, like, out there in like the jungle, bro. You brought your PS4, your Xbox in the jungle, no internet connection. You on Wi-Fi using the Viet Vietnamese Wi-Fi connection, bro. If you haven't been out in the jungle practicing the swerve, bro, you ain't about that TSG life. You feel me? I'm gonna see you next time. One love.